When forming a new government in France, the president and prime minister must respect a number of principles. The first of which is bringing on board heavyweights despite political differences. In 2012, for example, re-elected President Jacques Chirac named Nicolas Sarkozy as interior minister, with whom he has had frosty relations since 1995. The same again in 2014, when Ségolène Royal became environment minister under then-president François Hollande, who was also her former husband. And in 2017, when Bruno Le Maire, a staunch critic of Emmanuel Macron, became his economy minister. Nous acceptons de mettre de côté les querelles politiciennes inutiles, dans lesquelles nous évitons de nous chamailler sur des différences qui n'existent pas. The second principle to follow is to form a balanced government. Gender parity, but also to make sure the cabinet includes representatives from all territories. The last criteria, an element of surprise from the head of state. A prime example being 1992, when Bernard Tapie became Minister of City Affairs under François Mitterrand. Il y a une motivation incroyable. Tous les gens qui sont dans cette équipe ont une envie farouche de, de, de réussir et de gagner donc. During his first term, Emmanuel Macron surprised France with his appointments of Nicolas Hulot as ecology minister, a former TV personality who declined to be a government minister for all three previous presidents. Another surprise member in Macron's entourage, Éric dupont moretti a star criminal defense lawyer known for his impressive record in defending clients before assuming the role of justice minister. Now, Macron is tasked with taking these factors into account, informing his cabinet for a second and final time in office.